press the button, the flying machine comes up, and it's actually pretty quick. Hey guys, so we're back again, um, and I wanted to show you my little elevator system that I'm making here. It's uh, kind of based off of Mumbo's design a little bit, but not really. I didn't like watch his video to see how to do this, I just kind of like got inspiration from his video. Because I did figure out how to build these flying machines myself. And I'm working out the uh, timing circuit myself because right now what I have so far is we can go up and this splitting just kind of happens because of the size of the elevator. Any smaller and it would have looked kind of dinky um, and any bigger and it just wouldn't have worked. So I have to deal with that slicing just if I want it to be this big. But yeah, there's also the down which isn't that uh, graceful, it starts falling apart. And that's because you can see that this one seems to go first, this one second, then this one third. Um, and that has to do with the timing up here, which I wasn't able to figure out because there's some things that get in the way and you're not able to activate those unless you move stuff. So I've been having to use this double piston extender to be able to activate the block and not have any blocks in the way. And it's kind of annoying. Part of the problem is these will um, come along and detect another update when they connect with the redstone again. So in order to fix that, I had to make it activate with a piston. But then if the piston is too close to the slime, it'll get picked up by the slime. So I had to figure that out. And it's not the best, but the bottom works fine because all of these are right on the bottom and they don't interact with these three. Um, and these ones are on the bottom too, but by the time that these get up to there, the signal's already off. You can see it comes up pretty easily. There's just that seam there. Uh, other than that, I don't really mind the seam just because it wouldn't move unless it had that seam. Um, but on the way down, it is really annoying. Like, it's completely messed up. But yeah, how it works is each one of these individual flying machines takes a piece of the elevator with it. So if I just do that to all of them, you can see that there's the top half that comes along and that gets triggered first so the bottom half can actually move. And then the bottom half comes along and it just picks up these blocks and then drags these blocks on top along with it. Um, they get pushed up as well, but it's the opposite on the way down. Um, when it's coming down, they should be getting pushed down and then this one is uh, gonna have the splitting gap and like I'm just ignoring that gap just so this can look like an elevator when it's just sitting there activate this to get the rest of it to come down see there's the problem with it uh, activating a second time when these pistons retract it stops these right in their place and that's been a big problem with most of the portions of this system so it's really simple it's one two three four five six flying machines so six inputs and you just have to fire the top one uh, well it's 12 inputs and you have to fire the um, second row and then the fourth row then up here you have to do the uh, third row and then the first row. And here's my second elevator design which uh, is actually really useful and compact. It doesn't require nearly as much slime blocks and uh, doesn't have as much detail um, because it is just a shaft and a levitating platform but it's a lot more efficient and uh, it's allowing me to add more capabilities to this because that I'm struggling to even get it to go up and down properly. So what was going to happen was um, when you come over here and you enter in one of these buttons, it will activate the uh, this piston, which puts a block um, out this hole, 
and then actually the slime block sticks to that and then gets trapped. So, like, it sticks to that and then the whole uh, floor stops moving. And then in order to get it to uh, go again, what happens is, um, I'll just demonstrate with this. Um, basically, you'd have a, a button down there or a button, you'd have a button on each floor and basically a system that comes by and activates these lines depending on which button you press and uh, when this line is active it will extend this piston which will cause the floor to stop there and then um, once you press this button it will retract that piston and then um, extend this piston which will tell it which way to go and I was gonna have a button on either side to be like do you want to go up or down a floor and then I would have it just stop each floor but that's not the design I wanted to go with so I decided that um, on the left side of each elevator I'm gonna have uh, the floor number buttons and once you press a floor, num uh, floor number you uh, then come here into the elevator you step in and then once you press the button it will automatically go up or down depending on which floor you pressed and which floor you're on. And um, the button will work in the same way that when you press it, it will call the elevator to your floor and then you press the floor number and then you get in and press the button again and it, uh, and it will send you to the right floor. Um, it's not that complicated to figure out because all I have to do is uh, figure out some redstone vertical to, um, oof. all I have to do is figure out some vertical redstone to put back here, and then I can, uh, start sending these button clicks to be, um, registered on every floor, so when you press one button, it goes up to that floor and, uh, turns that on, and then resets all the rest of the buttons. Um, and then, uh, I need, um, my little comparator circuit that was, that I was working on over there earlier to be able to tell, um, the system, okay, if the fourth floor was pressed and the elevator's on, or was just on the second floor, then that means that it has to go up. Or if the elevator's on the third floor and you're calling the elevator to the first floor, then that means the elevator should be sent down. And that will just cut off a lot of time from it having to go all the way up to bounce or all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so we have the second floor activated. Um, so if I go and stand in here, press the button, the flying machine comes up, and it's actually pretty quick. Um, very simple flying machine too, still based off of Il Mango's design. And then it'll come up to the second floor here, and then stop right on this uh, layer. And then when I press the button, it's going to remove the block here so this is free to move. And then press this. And then if I wanted to go down, I'd have to uh, activate this line again to remove the piston here. And then I'd uh, have to activate that uh, observer with one of these pistons. And the reason I have two is just because sometimes um, this uh, is left it extended when it's coming down from up. So if I actually activate this floor um, like this, it should, when I press the button here, should go down and then stop at this floor. Yeah. And then, as you can see, this is extended. So that means that this observer is lower down than it needs to be. If it was just going down and then it stopped, then you need to activate the lower one. And if it was just going up and it stopped, then you need to activate the upper one. And that's why I have two on this side. On this side, it doesn't matter because um, the, the machine will always stop on this level wherever the block is. And so you have uh, the blocks, one block at, into the machine, and then right below it you have a piston, and then right below that you have two more pistons on the other side. So yeah, this is extendable all the way up to uh, the ceiling, like it'll go up to the sky limit, and uh, which is really useful. 
You can go a lot further than this, but this is just like an example. I also have the ground dug out pretty far, but I didn't put this too far underground. The only thing I have down here is uh, a little system for when it docks. Um, it comes here and lights up this redstone and then uh, activates the observer right here. And that'll send it up. Thanks for watching, and I hope you liked my redstone world. Um, yeah.